Hey guys, and welcome to a little video here I've got on Shadow Arena. Um, this is a Battle Royale style game, um, MMO styled Battle Royale. It's a really, really interesting game. Um, I think you guys will actually like seeing content on this, and I do plan to make quite a bit of it. This video is going to be a duos game between me and my friend Nate Bra. Uh, links to his stream, YouTube, and socials in the description. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to give a little bit of a insight to how we play, um, decision making, things of that sort. Uh, getting a little bit of a better feel for how we play the game, and maybe giving you guys some some tips to help you improve your gameplay. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let the video play. I'll be cutting in every now and then to do some live commentary over it, but uh, for the most part, I'm gonna let the gameplay speak for itself. Kind of gear someone has, like I just get a feel for them. I get I hit them like once and kind of feel out what they're like, and then I'm like, okay, this is the better target, so I want to two v one this guy. Yeah. And then I have to hope that the other solo is doing the same thing. Yeah. So right here, you're going to see the first decision that we make every single game. Um, we pick our spot to drop at. The first decision that we make is we look around. We stay in Black Spirit form. We look around for other players to get early kills. Early kills in this game reward you with skill books, which help you get a ma major, major advantage over other players. So right here, you're going to see we drop on the back of this Yonwa, and I'm going to go ahead and let the comms speak for themselves during this fight. The kick. She cued. She cued my kick? No, she just cued earlier. Haru. I'll fight the Haru. My kick didn't work again. I Haru cued. I counter cued. Let you kill it. Yeah, I can get this. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Well done. They went that way. Oh, the on their respawn. Team? No, on their respawn they oh. went that way. I'm just letting you know which way. So right there, what you were hearing was some communication between the two of us on the way that we were going to handle an early fight. We found out they were both teammates, the Yonwa and the Haru. Nate went ahead and got the Yonwa player. And then I started fighting the Haru player. In turn, since Nate got the kill on the Yonwa player, he held off and allowed me to get the kill on the Haru player. This gave us both three extra skill points to get all of the skills that we can unlock. Um, so now we're just doing a little bit of grinding. Uh, I got a lucky drop there with those musket shoes. We're just doing a little bit of grinding, trying to get some gear together to move into the mid and eventually late game. That was both bad. I have a level 2 skill already as well. Kinda going opposite of you though. That's okay. Ah uh, yeah, I've got somebody here. It's an A-Home I think. Yeah, I'm just pushing her. I'm gonna let her get on a mob and then just merc her. Wait. I kicked her. She so this fight here, I actually played extremely poorly. Um, I could have very easily died here after this blink if she had have played this a little bit better. Instead of going for uh, Black Sun Explosion, she could have gone for her F kick or her right click follow up. Unfortunately, I mean, I do end up getting the kill, luckily, um, but I definitely played that very, very, very wrong. I'm such, I am such a loser, dude. I would make fun of somebody for playing that the way that I just played that. What? Just like, I blinked, missed my skill, popped an elixir of swiftness, did a jumping attack. Like, I just, I burnt so much just for, for a grace period kill. <laughs> but to be fair, I get my blink and my Q back before grace period ends, so. Worth. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I mean, secured me the kill, got me another level 2 skill. Got me buffs. I almost have a third level 2 skill, because I'm finding so many damn skill books. Is this you that those are following? No. There's somebody over here. Okay. Either that or the mobs reset, but... They might have aggroed you at some point. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I ran from this direction. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This this one here was resetting them. I'm trying to get used to seeing like the difference between them resetting and chasing someone. Yeah. It's so, it's so much information be, using the mobs like the that. Same, might be the same animation though. Like they have, but they. You know, I think things. they run faster when they're resetting. Yeah. Actually, here I can test that myself. Okay, so chase me. Oh no, they definitely run the same speed when they're chasing. Okay, there's a boss 500 meters to our west near the mage tower. We should push that. Okay. That's the. This is the strat I was talking about that me and Opal do. Where we like push bosses that are within 500. We just got the 30 second warning for it too, so. So at this point, we saw a boss spawning not too far away from us. It was within running distance. Bosses are always a big point of interest. You'll always, almost always find players there. And even if you don't find a player there, you're guaranteed a Shadow Lord's armor or weapon from that kill. Um, so going, going for bosses is always worth it. Taking the boss buff and actually exchanging it for something else from one of the shrines. Very, very important way to play. Always focus bosses if you're able to. Oh, and the circle was nice to us too. It's this way. Nobody's on it yet. It's down in the river. And it's dead. Hmm. Oh, Shadow Lord chest plate, the best piece I could have got. Nice. Uh, let's go to Extraction Mill. I can get the APDP buff. So right there, what you heard me mentioning was the APDP buff. Uh, in exchange for your boss um, kill, you can exchange for an APDP buff of 150 of each. Um, obviously, this gives you a huge edge in fights. On me? Or is this a specter? This is a specter. Down the weapon for you. Yep. There's a team here? There's a fight here. I have vision for some reason. I don't know what caused me vision, but... Theon, what just abandoned him? She's right here, though. Ooh, I gotta drink. So that right there was just kind of a quick deletion of a player. There wasn't really much thought that went into that fight. We just kind of saw two people, and we were like, yeah, we can kill them pretty easily. Fortunately for us, when we got on the mage, his teammate actually had abandoned him and just kind of left, left him alone to die. So we just ended up hunting them down because they decided to turn around for some reason. And we took that team out of the game. I think we're both pretty even. Um, yeah. In front of me, Haru. She doesn't want to fight yet for some reason. Is the Yama right expert? Yep. So right here, very quick engagement onto the Haru. I decided to turn around and fight the Haru since she was full health, and I knew Nate could chase down the Haru and get the kill on her pretty easily. We managed to get the Yon was Q. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to completely do a full send on this fight. Suddenly, a Berserker showed up out of nowhere, and I was actually very confused by this. Um, so we had a Berserker, a Gerard, and an Aeon. Uh, at this point, I'm just getting chain CC'd, and unfortunately, I do think I'm going to end up going down here pretty soon. I'm trying to re-engage off of Nate's CCs. I missed my own. Missed again. And I'm just going to end up going down right now through here. I'm unable to move. I was mashing my Gravedigger at this time, and it just wasn't coming out. Um, the game was having a lot of lag. This was on the final day of the beta. But um, I don't necessarily blame lag for that kill. I should have been more aware of the Berserker. Nice. Aeon? I'll try to res you if I can get this guy. What the heck is happening? It's lagging. Yeah, the server's lagging. I should be able to kill this guy for sure. Yeah, you'll be able to get me too after the kill. 
Oh, there's another team coming at you. So, They're just gonna run past me? All right, that I'm going just gotta kill. You should probably just try to leave and go for the res. Yeah, Haru. This Haru has a Goyan teammate. You need to. You probably just want to go. Yeah. So right there, even though Nate had the uh, rest, the um, recovery buff from getting a kill, it was still a better idea for him to leave that fight since it was a Haru and a Goyan. Haru's damage output is incredible when she has a teammate who can assist her with it, and Goyan himself, as we all know, has some pretty incredible damage as well. Um, 2v, 1v2ing that kind of team comp when you're behind is probably not ideal. You you most likely will lose that fight every time. And it's really close. So at this point, Nate made his way outside of the circle to go and resurrect me. Um, when you resurrect in this game, you get resurrected with absolutely nothing, so you have zero attack, zero defense. Uh, you do definitely need your teammate to drop you gear. You are still able to CC and you do keep your skill levels, luckily. But you do need gear from your teammate, 100%. Go a little bit this way, yeah. Uh, let's go up over here by the rocks. Then we can do loot real quick and then run in. Go in right here. Uh, yeah. So right here, unfortunately, I'm trying to get the drops from Nate at this point, and he kind of... Um, we had to try to rotate around to be able to drop me, so... I was just CCing this player. I was trying to keep them out of the zone and keep them dead. Unfortunately, with no damage, there's not much I can do there. We decided to move up behind this building so that Nate can drop me some gear. And unfortunately, due to server lag, the gear actually wasn't showing up for me. You'll hear in a second here. See everything. You don't see it? Oh no. Oh, it's not working. I dropped everything. So right there, I was unable to get the loot that Nate tried and attempted to drop for me. So we decided to initiate on a Yondwa. At this point, I decide I can still CC, even though I can't do damage. So I go ahead and try to help Nate out with the CCs as much as I can, keeping the player on the ground for as long as I possibly could. I, I don't do damage. Reminding him that I don't do any damage. And now I'm just going to go ahead and try to run in on this. We decided to follow this really hard because I did very desperately need the loot. She decided to try to charge an arrow. Not a good decision there. This gets me some free loot. At this point, we're kind of panicking. It's an endgame situation. There's only two other teams alive. And we're just now getting my gear back. We see a Goyan rushing us, and at this point, we're kind of panicking a little. Yeah, I know. I see them. Okay, that was really nice. Clear Goyans. Kick. They're still freaking dead. We managed to get two very easy kills there off of Nate's initiation. Off of their initiation, Nate managed to counterattack it, and we were put in an advantageous situation. I was given a full set of gear at this point. Um, I, I'm going from red, shambles red, to winning red, the game I'm within red, two kills. Two You're surviving teams. Me now. <laughs> Let's go. It's us and this Berserker, I think. Berserker Ahon? Did you kill the Ahon? It was Berserker um, uh, Haru. Berserker Haru. But it might just be the Zerker, I don't know. It looks like it is just the Zerker. Yeah, dude. Super lit, too. Yeah, that's a kill. That's a game. GG. Go. Nice yeah. res, dude. Really good dude. work. Really good work. That was fun. Dude, imagine dying to somebody with no gear. <laughs> so just a quick little bit of trash talk right there about getting a kill while I had no gear. But all in all, very well played game from both of us. Um, my death, of course, could have been avoided by being a little bit more aware of my surroundings. Um, but Nate did a very, very good job of following that up to help me out at the end, get me back in the game, and eventually secure us the win. Um, hopefully that helps a little bit with some insight as to my decision making. I want to do a live commentary as well uh, when the game officially comes out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get much footage from this beta because of the lag on the servers. Um, games were just relatively unplayable for a very long time. But once the game goes live, I do plan on making a lot of content for this and having a lot more um, insightful videos and commentaries for you guys. So thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment if you've got anything to say, whether it's positive or negative, go ahead and leave a comment down below so I know what is on your mind. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and as always, have a great day.